Hello and welcome to City Cruise Live. Today we're going to continue with Valhalla. Should open the screen. There we go. Valhalla. And we are on to chapter 3 finally. So I was right that every week is a chapter. But I don't know how many chapters there are. I think this might be the. Excuse me. The last chapter. I guess we shall see. But I have to get $10,000 before this week, or before like four days or something. It's gonna be 12. Anyway, I guess uh, let's go to work. I might uh, just open my window a bit more because it's a bit dark in here. A bit better. Okay, let's go to work. Monday, twenty sixth. Come on. Good evening. Hey, Jill. Well, Jill's, Jill is back in the sorting ingredients shipment, and I've got things to do. The dog's in charge. Okay, bye. Wait, what? Wait, the dog in charge? What? Wait, the dog? What? Okay, first order. Pet me. No. Pet me. No, I'm in charge and I want you to pet me. Uh, this, is, this is gonna be a good day. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey Jill, Jay. Won't pet you. You'll pet me sooner or later. They all do. <laughs> Won't. Will. You call. You said Will, not Jill. Ah, who the hell is Will? Nobody. Don't be rude. <laughs> There's no Will. Do you need me to psych you up then? Shut up. Who? <laughs> what is this game? Ah, uh, exactly, Jill. You go back into whatever you were doing. All right. And you stand by. Only if you pet me. Go. Yes, exactly. Ah, for Gilligo. Well, aren't we spirited today? Welcome to Valhart. Gilligo? Why do you sound so weirded out? You didn't show up with a bombastic solo soliloquy. Soliloquy. Well, putting up an act can be tiring, you know. So it's all an act then? Wasn't it obvious? No. He just seems like an idiot. <laughs> I guess. Would you mind getting me a Bleeding Jane? Why would you act like that? You, you basically know that people find you annoying. So why would you purposely act in a very weird way? What is wrong with people? There we go. A Bleeding Jane. Yes, this is just the thing. So, ty tired of putting on an act? Care to explain? It's a long story, and I'd honestly rather th not talk about it right now. Fair enough. What made you change your mind, though? Well, for one thing, it's safer for me now. The pompous buffoon act was mostly a way to avoid raising suspicion. Safer? Says a word that's been losing meaning lately. Wait, what? Wait. That was your way of avoiding suspicion? Yeah, not really the best. Yes. You do know how weird that sounds, right? It sounds weird. You try to not raise suspicion, but you act in a bombastic manner that seems... that screams you're there. And everyone dismisses the fool as a buffoon and moves on. Eh? I mean, you might be right if I were talking about hiding myself. But I'm avoiding certain crowds of people. Yes, my behavior might call everyone's attention. But then everyone decides, just decides I'm harmless and disregards me. And depending on how erratic my actions are, 
I become harder to read, giving me yet another layer of enigma. I, huh? Well, congrats, no offense, but I feel fell right into your plan. I just dismissed your actions as those of a fool and moved on. You completely fooled me. Thanks. Say, can you give me something spicy? Sure. I gotta get their monies, so I gotta get orders right. So they will give me more monies. Here. Aren't you fascinated by spiciness? What's spicy for humans might not be spicy for other animals. Hell, what's toxic for us might not be for other creatures. Do you like spicy things, bartender? I don't mind them, I guess. But I'm not really a fan. That neutral stance is actually weird to come across. Everyone either loves spicy things or hate them with a passion. Do you like it? Lots. Not only in regard to painfully spicy things, but also the way mild or slight mild, mild, uh, slight spice adds to a meal. I've always had this dream of opening a curry stand. As things are, I might actually pursue that dream. Let me know if you do, I haven't had a curry in ages now. Hey bartender, call me Joe. I wanted to apologize. Hmm? You put up with me all this time without lashing out. I should apologize for my behavior and thank you at that. Don't worry, I actually feel like I was rude to you last time you came. Granted, you came at a really bad time, but I should should be the one apologizing. They're a client after all. Well, don't. I'm actually surprised that nobody else had violently lashed out at me yet. You're making me curious as to who you really are, though. Is Vigilio even your real name? It might be, it might not. Sometimes I wonder if I'm a magnet for people who hide their identities in sordid past. Gil. Jamie, you. Um, did you say something? Just rambling, pay no mind. Now that I think about it, how did you find this bar? I was avoiding some traps and uh, valley, and came to this valley, alley. Uh, again? Again? In my time here, I've heard avoided people and <clears throat> ended up here enough times to make me believe that the original owner built the bar here thinking about the runaway public. You make me sound like a criminal. You're not helping. The expression runaway doesn't just mean people escaping the law though. We've had people avoiding stalkers or solicitors. I've seen more people more shocked by an insistent salesman than a shady figure. Maybe because the sh salesman is more active predator, I don't know. A troublesome part of the city right near the shopping district. Let me know, let me them know there's a bar in their town. Sorry, I should stop rambling too much to myself, yes. I don't mind it. Do you think I'm some sort of criminal though? Well, the question mark is uh, worrying. Like I said, you're not helping. But for all I know, you might be a buffoon I've seen the other days. In any case, I think I can... Can I get something bitter here? On it. Bitter. Yeah, this works. Do you like coffee, Miss Bartender? As weird as it sounds from a smoking bartender, no I don't. Well, I get it. It's not for everyone. I don't like coffee. A Kaku boomer the other day. What about her? Still scared of her? Not really, but she looks so familiar. Maybe you're mixing her up with another cat boomer. No, that's not it. It's like the ba bandaged girl last time. Even with the bandages, there's so just something really familiar about her. Wait. Is he gonna be like... It's a big bad guy from like the whole thing? And he was in the bank thing? Are things coming together? 
Maybe you need to stop thinking about it. Answers usually come to you when you stop thrusting out. You might be right. Well, I leave you for now, bartender. Thanks for everything. Please come again. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hello, Mr. Detective. And here we are, another mute person wandering to another one. Anything I can get you? I got lunch. Okay. Oh, whoops. Eh. Here. Oh, you got it right. Um, so, what are you? What's up now? A bit of my holiday blues, you do, could say. So you celebrate Mega Christmas? Why? Why don't they call it Mega Christmas? Why wouldn't I? You look more like a Festivus kind of guy. Why does everyone keep saying that? Well, Festivus is a celebration going against the capitalist madness that is Mega Christmas. And you know, cheap skits. If you have something to say, say it. I'll refrain. Although now I think about it, Holiday Blues is not really tied to a specific celebration. Just a season. A season of consumerist craze? Mega Christmas is just a mockery of uh, the real Christmas once was. Okay, so it's like, just a sales Christmas kind of thing. I mean, the season has slowly become enslaved to the corporations over time. Holiday spirit can only be manipulated so much. But then came that Tobo male guy. He started an early, tra early tradition of dressing like Santa in the ring. Turbs, Turbo male? That can't be his ring name. It is. Really? Such a tacky name was accepted? His partner was Buster Master, and his rival was Dr. Chris Max. Tacky names were not a problem. I mean, I knew there was a wrestler that dressed as Santa every year. I also knew the guy came and became insanely popular, and the stunt got out of control. And of course, that's the part everyone sings about. Santa became Nega Santa, thanks to the... Red Run's family. Mega Santa sees the error of his ways and becomes a mighty Mega Santa. We name the holiday to Mega Christmas. What? And then every company jumped on the bandwagon and Christmas was Mega Christmas before anyone noticed. So you're telling me that the guy that, who somehow managed to rename the holiday went by the ring name Turbo Mail. Yep. That makes the whole holiday sound like a joke. The holiday is a joke. You're telling me you don't celebrate Festivus? Uh, no, I don't. Do you know what kind of people celebrate Festivus? The kind that's so lame and bland that they can only talk about how they're better because they celebrate Festivus. Like those jerks who only eat nuke and think they're better than everyone else. I see. Anything else I can get you? Get me a friend, Weaver, will you? Sure. He's getting quite a lot of drinks today. Yeah. Right, thanks. So, any issues with the city lately? What's the word on the street? Shouldn't I be asking that? There's nothing new, really. The lynchings of the White Knight stopped, so what's that? Really? Something about the armor, I haven't gotten much on it yet. Not on that one yet. All in all, the madness following the attack on the bank seems to have settled down a bit. That's good to hear. Have any other details about the attack emerged yet? All records of whatever happened there have been long deleted. Security cameras, log, system logs, everything was wiped. Whatever happened there, it became become more... Even more of a mystery now. I wonder if Say plans on testifying. Does anyone know if Say what went in there in the first place? Maybe the wiping of everything somehow protects her. Hey, bartender, are you okay? Sorry, got distracted. There's not much to say, really. There's an oddly silly, 
odd silly rumour here and there. Like the vending machine's taser man functioning and applying more strength. Or that the rider of the last rain in the world is actually living here as a brain in a jar. But those are the kind of rumours you hear from crackheads. Crackheads hold that might hold that one last piece of info you need. But you also hear crap like that. Anyway, I'm leaving. Happy New Year, bartender. Please come again. Okay then, um, but, no, wait, she's out, what? Gil, you there? Yeah, taking a break? Let me know if someone comes in. Cool. It's now safe. So that's Stella. I think that's Dorothy. No, wait, that's Dorothy. Don't know who that is. And that's Jill. Things are pretty quiet outside. Jill! Ah, Miss Kim. Just call me Kim. It sounds weird to be called Miss. You seem in a good mood. I got some money on Mega Christmas. Wouldn't you be happy? I guess. What can I get you? I'll have a beer. Okay. I don't know how uh, different my voices are. They're not that different from each other. They're all pretty, uh, pretty similar to my real voice and to other voices that I do. But it works, I guess. Thanks. So, you, how you been doing? Pretty good, actually. My hair's still falling out. My appetite is coming back. I hadn't realized just how much the newspaper was weighing on me until I quit. I suddenly stopped feeling defeated. I, I actually felt like I achieved a victory. Like I could get a hold of my own life. So nice to hear. Oh yeah, I'll start bartender training in January too. Oh really? Yeah, I did some research and it sounded cool. BTC gives you many benefits. So it sounds like a good thing for, to do for the time being. I don't know if it's what I want to do for the rest of my life, but it's a good start. It'll give me time to think on the next course of action. Bit of advice, don't go for BTC housing plans unless you absolutely have to. You have to sign a contract for at least five years of service with a cut in pay and tips. I was going to go for that one, but I backed down a bit at the last minute. How do you back down a bit? Well, I took the chance when the BTC found my apart an apartment and instead of signing the BTC contract, I just asked for a regular one. I still have no idea how I got away with that one. I thought those apartments were built by them or something. Back in England they are. They have their own real estate companies. Apartment complexes where they have the means to give discounted rooms to employees. In this city, real... Realty? Realty new... There should be a few other words, letters in there. Reality? Oh, and Realty Newer holds an unspoken real estate monopoly. So BTC can, can't easily offer us such promises. Oh! Realty Newer is a bit weird as far as companies go. The name has become synonymous with quality, a brand built around certain expectations. But the truth is that Realty Newer has done little to no work in the last 10 years or so. Really? I mean... When they started, they managed to sell the build, sell and build upon plots of land that everyone gave up on. Oh, let's check this out. Cool. They became a big name as far as real estate goes, but in reality, the company itself has actually done less than you'd think over the years. Most of the time they're cashing in on their established properties or letting others work for them. I believe in the last 10 years or so they've only started around 3 or 4 new projects and they're all expansions of their already established ones. You, you seem to know a lot about it. Now I've just read a lot about it over time, especially after hearing my landlords ramble about them. I think it's all par for the course for real estate companies really. But it's true that when, I, when you hear a name so much, Expect something I uh, don't know different. 
Not enough rambling on my side, you see. Must be thirsty. Can I get you anything else? Let's try Sugar Rush. Okay. Now, this was like a... That thing. Is that it? Yes. There's an achievement that tells you that there's one drink that no one has ordered ever. And I'm pretty sure it's the cervix spike. What is it? Sour manly sobering. Hopefully we get someone that wants something like this. And we will uh, give it to them. Well, let's remember as well. Okay, so what did she want? She wanted a sugar rush. Here you go. Yay! Ashley Jill, I came here today to thank you. Me? Yeah, back when I first showed up here, I was in a really rough spot. I was shocked. I was tired and I was a total mess. I even said some really mean things, but you had patience with me. Not to mention you helped me cool down and your boss saved me. And I don't know, I felt like I had to tell you all of this before the year ended. Much appreciated, thanks. But anyway, how are you doing? Last time you were a bit off. Oh, I'm better now, thanks. Glad to hear. It was weird to see you like that. I always felt like you were putting on a cool bartender axe. It did? You don't? I don't. Are you sure? What you saw as a cool bartender act is what everyone else calls a, as being cold. I mean, cold and cool could mean the same thing, but... Nah, I don't try to put up an act, sorry, to disillusion. I'm too much of a mess to do such a thing. Huh. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed? Surprise, actually. That led me to believe that you were putting on an act. And more importantly, how can I make use of it when I get assigned to that, a bar? I must investigate further. Good luck with that. Say, let's try something bubbly now. Alright. Bubbly. Yeah, thanks. Hey Jill, I'm gonna need some ice. Ah, boss. Boss? Oh, I know you. Thank you, thank you! <laughs> hey, nice to, to see you're fine. I'm more than fine, I'm alive, I'm here! I voted my big, biggest mistake in my life thanks to your time, timely intervention. I had done what came over me, overcame me. I just felt like, like, like everything was shouting. I couldn't stop in the shouting, so I just felt like, like, thank you! Don't even mention me. I just did what I felt was right. Jill, ice please. Right. Are you alright? Do you seek help? I know a couple of people that could help you. Don't worry, I'm perfectly fine. I've gone to a therapist a couple of times. They say I'm okay. I just... something overcame me, but you interfered and... I, I, I don't know what to say. I already said thank you. Seeing that you're fine is more than enough for me. <laughs> I should have come to thank you earlier. I owed you that at least. Don't worry, just go out and be happy. Oh, Dana is... Dana's so nice. You have a second chance, so use it as best as you can. I will. I'll be leaving you Happy New Year, Jill, and thank you again. Please come again. So a couple of weeks ago I read some news about a woman saving a suicidal girl, catching her midair. Would you know something about that, boss? Maybe, maybe not. Whoever it was probably just did it because it was the right thing to do. Dane is so nice. Feeling lonely? That voice. Who is this? Aunt Anna. Hey Joe. Long time no see. Really long, really long time no see. Seriously, it feels like it's been over a year since I last saw you. I was planning on visiting you last week, but things were pretty heavy back then. So I just waited in the background until the tension wore off a bit. Thirsty Joe. I'm talking to you here. If I ignore her, she'll leave. 
Who is it? I think this was a person at the start of the game that taught us the tutorial. I'm not an unfathomable sense you I'm not an that's a dread. You can't just ignore me, you know. Julian Stingray! I'm talking to you. Her last name's Stingray. Calm down, don't follow her taunts. How did she know my full name though? I thought your full name was Julian Natal Natal Ali. Stingray, or did you legally remove the Natal? Never mind the I is she reading my thoughts? Yeah, I mean, they're kind of written in the middle of the screen. Hard not to see them, actually. What is it? Is she like meta? She's a game? She's a part of the game? Alright, that's it. I'm going crazy. That's such a self-centered way to see the world. You see, mate, you're crazy because you can't accept that this world could be weirder than you think. This world is amazing because of the things you can't, just can't explain. And just because you're only you experience something doesn't mean it's a lie or that you're crazy. I mean, just look at ASMR. No, I'm pretty sure this is what a creative person would say in a scenario. You acknowledge me! <laughs> That's good, I want... I'm not serving you anything. What? Why? Last time you came, I had to clean the drinks and I served you off the floor. Don't be like that. The drinks were also paid for with my money. I don't know how you did it, but that set any of them all and all of my plans I had for the rest of the week off balance. I was gonna buy some curry with the money I had to put up with for those drinks. Dog duty done. I know we had slow days, but for God's sake. You okay? You look angry. Uh, I'm fine. Good job out there. I'm back. Ah, uh, boss, what happened? Meeting cut short. At least I drank the has 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 bottles. <laughs> Are you okay? You look distraught. I'm fine. So they really can't see you? I mean, you're right in front of them. And you're wearing jeans under a skirt. <laughs> what is this? Okay. Fashionable. Why? Just why? To annoy people, of course. Is that a new trend? What does she think she's doing? Everyone feels like it's not quite right. Everyone thinks they should call you out. But they can't bring themselves to do it because it's not that wrong. There are the things like splats after that. After all, what's splats? Skirt pants? It's uncannily right. Not all all that wrong. And they can't stop staring. Not like anyone other than me could see you there. They could see it if they wanted to. Jill, you're making an awful lot of faces there. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, yeah, just remembering stuff. Man, I miss not being this... not being crazy. Boss, I'm leaving early today. And you stay here. Who <laughs> you stay? Who stays where? Crap, I just... did I just... You have to be the first person I've met who mixes their inner and outer voice. I am. Um, I thought I saw someone, one of the dogs near the cat, sorry. Okay. Can I leave a bit earlier today? Sure, thanks for taking care of the fort. What about me? You haven't left yet. I'll thank you when you leave. That's not what I... <laughs> whatever. Uh, for all guild again. Here's something in case you felt lonely today. Got a few days, I think we'll make it to 10,000. Jill will just watch the night of the year. Buy a poster of it will prevent him from being too distracted. Movie poster. Cool. Get kind of the upper line, even if it's just a little bit. Mm -hmm. There's cat in heat outside. I'd have blue bubbles if I had still had any. Oh wait, I just realized the wallpaper is boss and me. So does she actually like the boss? Hmm. 
igual. A ver qué pasa. Grassland fighters. There's not much. What can we buy in here? There's nothing much. That cost ten thousand. So we could get that eventually, but we don't we don't really want to. Why does that tell me to buy it? I already got it as a wallpaper. Anyway. Uh, okay, I'm gonna say. Save. What's the time? Okay, we'll do another day in this. Because it's only been 30 minutes. Go to work. I think we're pretty close to the end of the game, though. Starting to feel like things are wrapping up in some way. Good evening. Hey Jill, let's have a New Year's party this Saturday. Isn't that a bit soon? Why did someone famous get killed at a New Year's party? No, I mean, never mind. Sure, I am in for it. Great, and Gil? He's coming too. I mean, it's not like you have anything else to do. Hey, no, I mean, where is he? He was escorting a client off to off his. To a uh, client of his to the station. He should be back any second now. Back. See. <laughs> so you're coming to the New Year's party too, Gil? It's not like I have anything else to do, so. I told you, we're depressing people. Yeah, you don't have much social life, but I don't have much social life, so this game is. is me. It's my true self. Oh yeah, the kid from the other day, Gabby. I think you called her. asked me to give you this. I believe it's a note. A note? Gabby? Let's see. First of all, I want to apologize for my behavior before. I was still hurt by my sister's death and I wasn't fair to take out all the stress on you, let alone put the blame on you. And so it feels weird to ask this of you, for how I treated, but I really want you to want to talk to you. I want to catch up, to chat for a while, to do what you were doing with me before I at least lashed out. I wanted to understand this freedom you have talked about. The fear that drove you to fight with your sister. With my sister. I'll go back to the bar on the 31st. I won't take much of your time. If you don't want to see me after all that, I will understand. But please, I really want to talk to you. Rather right, go, has such a big vocabulary. She was always a smart one. The 31st is written in different handwriting. Oh yeah, she asked me when would you be rel be here and they're relatively free, so I told her about the party. I also assumed you'd say yes to the party, which might not have been the best idea, now that I think about it. But boss, I'm having second thoughts about coming to the party. What? Why? But because I really don't want to face Gabby again. Uh, it's coming back to me, what drove me to never go back and apologize after all these years. Fear and shame. Shame because I know I made a hideously stupid mistake, and it's painful to face your mistakes. A fear of what they might say. With Lenore, we never broke up formally, so I always, I was always afraid that if we wouldn't meet again, she'd break up with me. And I don't want Gabby to tell me that she hates me to my face. Lenore was in the right to break up with me. And Gabby has the right to hate me, but I don't want her to. Maybe if I never see her again, she'll never tell me in that end. Jill, you idiot! Uh -huh. You're thinking backwards, didn't the letter say she wanted to understand you? If you bail out on this, she will hate you. Not only that, but you're getting a new chance here. Do you want to live the rest of your life running from another memory? Didn't you just say to... Armitage that you hated feeling that like that? Armitage? Titty hacker. Alma? Right. I don't know what happened to you, happened when you fought with the girl's sister. But now you have a chance to make amends. And not only that, you'll have us watching your back. So you won't 
I want you to think about this. One day fear or a lifetime filled with regret. Which one do you pick? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I hated feeling like that. I won't run away this time. Good, because I would have gone to your partner and dragged you out of there if you need to be. Hey boss, thanks. That's what friends are for. Yeah. Anyway, let's start the day. That was a long intro to the day. Time to drink, mix drinks and change lives. Seriously though, it's the second note that has stirred much such a feeling in me. Second one? Two weeks ago, I got another note in the mail. This one was is from Lenore. Was the envelope you took away from me in panic? Yep. You hadn't opened it? Why not open it with Gabby? You're facing one fear, might as well face the other. Maybe. Don't push it, Chief. I know, I just know she's capable of doing all of that. I'll go secure the stuff for the party. Call me if you need anything. Keep it. Thanks. Happy holiday! Someone's happy. We held a party for the staff and children. He should have seen the faces of those receiving gifts. Nabbing Santa suit at the last minute the other day was totally worth it. Santa dresses seem to have been popular this year. I heard they were sold out in most places. There was this weird shortage of Santa suits, but luck was on my side this year. <laughs> Sorry for that outburst. Why, you, you look so happy. I felt too happy too. You shouldn't hide your happiness. Um, anyway, can you make me call back velvet, please? Sure. One, two, three, four, five. Here. Thanks. Are you meeting Sage today? She should be here in a bit. She told me she wanted a drink, and since I was coming here too. Sadly, I can't stay for long. I have some errands to run. How have she been lately? She's been better. Her wounds have been healing really nicely. If only she stopped scratching at her bandages so often. What about her eye? Eye? <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. Uh, it'll take longer to heal, but as long as she kept clean, there should be no problem. But to be honest, I'm more worried about her emotional wounds. She doesn't show it, but she's had depressive bouts from time to time. But, and who can blame her? Her life changed completely. The job she loved no longer exists. She used, she was used as a disposable pawn in the whole bank affair. I'm afraid it will all go, make her go back to her old ways. Old ways? There was a rough spot when Say was a teen. Her mom's clinic was about to close when her biological father, who was an Asshole showed up, and the teachers at her school didn't help. Say was not a slow learner by any means, but her ways of learning stuff is different. She needs equivalences to things she knows. You need to get a bit in her mindset. Once you get this, she's a fast learner, but schools don't have the, that kind of patience. That basic, they basically blended her, branded her a failure. Even she even dropped out. I would have suggested a special course somewhere else, but she would have been offended. So that would have kind of handed her. She's always been against being labelled as special or different. Anyway, Say was totally different during that period. F Failed mouth, short fused. Always frowning and totally uh, the total opposite of how she is nowadays. From time to time I see that old look across her face and it scares me. You're comparing her to her teen self though? People mature. Maybe she'll show signs from time to time. But I bet Say knows better than to go back to that. I hope so. Get me something cold and sweet, will you? Sure. Cold and sweet. Is that talking about herself? This is the kind of stuff Say asks for you, you know? Now that you mention it, you know, back when Say reappeared, it seemed that she came here first. Oh yeah? She told me that. Glad she found a familiar face after all the chaos. Did she tell you she had a talk to at the back of the bar? 
You did? Well, it's nothing important, but she was dev devastated, you know? She was afraid, tired. It hit me quite hard, not only after seeing her covered in bandages, but also after seeing her so cheerful before. I guess I should be thanking you then. For you what? When I met her, she told me she c you calmed her down quite a bit. I did. I'm guessing with all that w w that was going on, the desire to not worry me weighed on her. It happened before, so it was good that there was someone else for her to share her stress with. Thanks. Um, sure. I don't know. I don't think I did anything noteworthy, but sure. I've been wondering, can I? Can you really be so calm in the lower parts of the city? Hmm? I mean, the streets are not exactly safe, and a cat boom is sure to become a target. Well, I have my security staff with me at all times, so there's no problem. Besides, this part of the city is comfier. Come again? Sure, uptown is cleaner and maybe more secure, but it's also too sterile. Around here, you can actually feel the warmth of people. You, you feel people, the people living. I especially like going to the busy food stand. I feel a warmth there that uptown doesn't have. It's also easier to talk to people. You finally came. Welcome. If you try to talk to someone in the upper part of the city, they either shrug you off or flat out ignore you. People around here are a bit wary, but they're also more likely to talk to you. Not that things aren't nice there though. Can I get you something? I feel like having a beer. Make that too. But I just want one. I'm asking for an order for me, adding one to your order. Oh, that's right. Uh, say. That say and Dana are the angels of this game. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Say you shouldn't have seen you should have seen the kids after you left. They were all playing with the toys you picked. You nailed it again this year. They were all asking, where's Say? Where's Say? Why do they call you just Say when they call me Auntie Seller? I don't look that old. <laughs> just you. Don't worry, they still like you. Troy had to leave, but Mum worked overtime that night, and I could have couldn't leave her alone. What happened? Well, there were fireworks, and some dog thought it'd be safe to hide in a jar. The little guy managed to get his head and a paw stuck inside before getting stuck. And it was plastic, so they couldn't just try and break it. That's messy. She needed someone to hold the dog while she worked. Poor fellow was scared. Well, I'm out. Oh, yeah? We'll have a New Year party this Saturday if you want to come. Sure, it's better than depressing myself with my dad's woes about next fiscal year. I'll be here. Bye, Jill. Bye, Say. Careful. You come again. You want to come too? I'd love to. I'll also make up for not coming last time. How was the party? Pretty nice. We played Truth or Dare. Had some fun. Broke some glass. Ate lots and lots of food. Seriously, looking back, the amount of food was ridiculous compared to the number of people who were there. Better leftovers than left hanging, don't you think? Yeah. Can I get you something? Try something classy, okay. I want to do this this one, but I don't know when I can. Someone needs to order something manly or sour. Uh, anyway, so classy. Something classy. Yep, this is the thing. Still came in quite cheery about Sunday. This Sunday? Oh yeah! Well, you know, her birthday is actually the 25th. Really? There's a weird story from when she was a kid. She heard Mega Santa's story and somehow she got into it. Her head, that she, by being born on the 25th, she was a spiritual incarnation of the original Santa. That made her start giving out gifts like crazy. She got over it, but gifting stuck to her. Spiritual incarnation. Reincarnation. Well, the story says that Roman's family destroyed Santa's spirit and that Mega Santa was reborn as a manifestation of Christmas spirit. She thought she was the old Santa spirit in a new body. 
<laughs> that girl is delusional as a kid. Huh. Speaking of things that you didn't did when you were young, Stella mentioned you were worried about going back to your old ways. Something about a rough period where you were angry or something? Oh, that. It's sweet that she worried. But I won't go back to those days just like that though. Even if I face the same situation, I'm more mature now, you know? I'm not a teen anymore. Expected as much, told her as much. Hey, can you get me something bubbly? Sure. Hmm. That one. Itchy. Bubbly. Yeah. Ah, what am I doing? One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Yeah. Bubbly, bubbly! Hey Jill, wanna know how Stella got her eye? Huh? I feel you shouldn't tell me that. She told you my story. Means she likes you enough, it's fine. Remember when I told you one night right nice saved me from another? Well, it's about the other one. Apparently, he was running away from way after doing something, don't know. We were at the park and he held us hostage. At one point, they tried to approach us and he just... He gouged Stella's eye out. Well... I tried to stop him, but he just went and kicked me. I still remember that kick. I couldn't feel my ribs break. I could feel my ribs breaking. There was pain in places I didn't know I could feel. Thing. From time to time, I still relive that day. The kick in my torso. Still the screams. It's it's chilling. I briefly regained consciousness after the kick. When I felt like I was being lifted, the white knight attacked us. Was on the floor, not moving. I was on another white knight's shoulder. He took his helmet off and put. It on his augment anguished Stella. I passed out, and when I came to, I was in a hospital. Apparently, the kick ruptured a couple of organs, and I was put in emergency care. Woke up because Stella was punching my leg, telling me to wake up. Damn, just damn. What made you bring this up? Oh. I bring it up because that guy came, that was here last time I came. I think he's the one that saved us. Pagiligo? Really? What? Okay, so he's not a bad guy then, he's a really good guy. What made you think that? Sure, more pounds than he is, but I'm pretty sure it's him. There's something about his face I can't dismiss. Maybe it's the question mark. <laughs> right there. I'd like to see him again. Do you know how? Do you know how it's now the Steampunk Museum? Also have a Gilligo there. Gotcha! Well, I'm done for today. Thanks, Jill. Please come again. I'll take one break. You're all sure. Break time. Ugh. Save. And into back to the game. Who are these? So, I think that's Dana. Dorothy. Stella, and I guess that's Jill. But why are they... why is Stella important? I thought Alma would be important. Alma's not even in this, as I can see. Wonder if I left food for all. Okay, I'm a bit... Um, Dorothy? You won't get through the bar anytime soon. You can stop walking. Uh, honey. You want something? The usual, I guess. Usual, 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 usual. What's a usual? Uh oh. But what is wrong with her? Oh, what's a usual? Maybe bad touch. One, two, one, two. 
Him too. I knew someone was gonna be like a usual. Here you go. Oh, this is bad. Bad, why? But, but, hmm? Okay, you're freaking me out. What's up with you? Hey, honey, how, how do you know what's real? How so? I mean, how do you know it, what, if what you see is an actual thing? How can you tell if what you see around you is actually happening? What tells you everything is not actually a fabrication? What tells me I'm not just a simulation in a computer? They're becoming self-aware. And those pondering brought you to the bar? What? Oh, I'm in a bar? Am I? Dorothy? So you're having a soul lipstick crisis of sorts? Soul of what? Solpism. Solpism? The theory that the self is the only thing that can be known to exist. See, there's another thing right there. That word. Soul. Uh, they're gonna say this a lot and I can't say the word. Solipsism. What does it even mean? Where the hell did it come from? Well, solace means alone and is means self. Yes, but how did it come to be? Do you expect me to believe that a lot of people just randomly decided to make noises? And decide, hey, let's make this noise mean this. I've always thought about this kind of stuff. It's nice when you actually hear it from other things or people and stuff. It doesn't make any sense. Words don't make sense. I've been repeating words for a long time and they stop making sense. Why? Calm down. You're just being somatic. Set. Setation. Stop making up words, honey. And then there's that c this counter. How can I be sure the counter is real here? It is, please. Stop, stop, it's happening. Okay, now you're getting a bit crazy, Dorothy. Hold on, just making sure. I was on there to throw it out. Okay, this is my time to make this thing because no one has ordered it ever. Or all blended. Oh, whoops. It will knock the drunkenness out of you or knock you out cold. That seems like what Dorothy needs. <laughs> So, Spike. Yeah, I did the achievement. Stop tapping the counter so much. I'm this close to throwing this at you, right? Your face. Sorry. Uh, so let's start from the beginning, since you did have this existential crisis. Since earlier today, I think. But I don't know. It was all too sudden. I was thinking about everything that happened from a week ago until now. How much fun I was having and how much I loved everyone around me. And out of nowhere, the thoughts started piling up in my mind. What is love? What is fun? Are those feelings real? Is all of that real? Am I real? What tells me I'm actually in a body? What if I'm just some computer somewhere thinking it has a body? What if I'm just a human girl in a comatose dream? What tells me that you're real? This is like a... Doki Doki Literature Club, except, uh, better. <laughs> better. And, uh, not trying to go all weird and deathy. Eh. For all I know, I might just be a figment of someone's imagination. Or even just an AI simulation in some computer that thinks it's a human. I've been there, Dorothy. This existential doubt and crisis is uncertainty about whether or not things are real. It was a couple of months only, but I remember f having panic attacks and scratching my arm to feel feel something. But the panic attack gave me a rush of adrenaline, so I couldn't feel the scratch, and the fear got worse. What did you do to get over it? Oddly enough, I read a book. The Last Rain in the World, one of my favorites. At one point, I cried with the book, and I realized I was crying over fake things. A story and its characters. I didn't care less for them because they were fake. Why not think of reality like that too? Even if I'm a figment of someone's imagination, I'd still care about you. That's what I told myself, at least. I wasn't immediate. It wasn't immediate, but that focus helped me. <laughs> I like it. Hey, can I take this drink? 
I made it for you. Thanks, okay then. <laughs> what? Ah, <laughs> oh, Dorothy. You are definitely an interesting character in this game. <laughs> that image. Phew! Why did you throw it on your head? <laughs> to feel something you, you made. And? It burns and itches a bit. I'll get you a towel. Delivery for Dane, is that- Oh, I've been here before. Mr. Mario, welcome back. I have a delivery for Dana Zane, who's that? She's my boss, I'll get her for you. Great, sign here please. It's a big package. I wonder what's inside. You should open it if it's uh, something perishable. Maybe it'll need to be refrigerated. Let's see. It's a wiener. A really big wiener. What? Hey honey. Hmm? The big package had a big wiener inside of it. I uh, get it, Dorothy. Okay, you're hilarious. You 13 year old. What will your boss do with such a big thing? I don't know if she'll cook it. Perhaps she'll chop it. Oh, an actual wiener. I thought it was like a wiener dog for some reason. But an actual sausage. Honey. Oh. Seems the wiener is too big to eat correctly. So stop. <laughs> Oh my, my eyes are like, mm, got cold in the sun. Maybe you could pre prepare some right now. What did you say, honey? Do you want some of your boss's wiener? I do know. <laughs> Seriously, girl? <laughs> She's the ah, uh, making the joke. <laughs> You're the one that's trying not to laugh too hard at them. Anyway, we all know if we dare to cook it without her permission, she'll hang us upside down. She'll hang me upside down. Hey Jacket Boy, what's your name? I'm um, Mario. Come on Mario, I'll buy you a drink. Hmm, you might have another delivery, you know. This is the last one actually. I'll accept your offer. I'll have a sunshine club. And you? I'm fine. Sunshine club. Here. Thanks. I am. Um, call me Dorothy. You, you can also call me Darling for the right amount. <laughs> yeah, Dorothy, why did you buy me a drink? Just to let you know. I don't swing that way. What? What way? Little? I mean, I'm a man's man. Like, I like men, okay? What? Not that there's anything wrong with liking women, but... Oh, don't worry. I wasn't hitting on you. I was thanking you. Thanking me? The package let me see Honey here laughing like an idiot. It's easier than you think. That made me happy and I don't know. It fits with what she's telling me earlier. I'm more calm when I, than when I entered. Glad I helped, I guess. Well, duty calls. Bye Mario, bye John, bye Honey. Enjoy your big wiener. Out with you. She seems like a nice girl. I don't mean it for it to sound like I... I get it, I get it, don't worry. You don't like- you like guys, it's clear. Speaking of- you like motorcycles, don't you? I do, yeah. Have you been to the motor district? I spent all day of my free time in the motor district, actually. Why? Is it true that they say something about all the illegal races going on there? You're not a cop, are you? As far as I rem remember, no. Well, I mean, there are illegal races. But there's also some semi-legal league, league going on there. Semi-legal? There's authorities that acknowledge that there's races going on. They don't know what goes on in them, however. Modified engines, casualties, substance abuse. The illegal ones end up being safer in the end. Huh. Have you heard about a biker called Christine Lowe? Miss Lowe, of course, everyone knows who she is. What about her? Is there a gang as dangerous as they say? I don't know. Nobody knows. Excuse me? They look intimidating enough, but truth is that uh, nobody has faced them directly. Moreover, nobody wants to put, be the one that got beaten up to a pulp if they turn out to be what they seem. So her gang is just there, menacingly, doing their own thing, not bothering anyone. Uh, 
want anything else? I'll go piano man. Piano man, are you sure you don't want a piano woman? You woman. You girly drinks. Yeah, this is nice. This will sound a bit weird, but do you believe in repli replibots? Replibots? There's a belief that some Lilum out there are designed to perfectly replicate a particular human. That someone or something replaces those humans with such Lilum. Thus they call them replibots. You know a lot about this. I don't. It's in most magazines nowadays. Well, it's the first time I've heard of it. What about it? On my way here, I almost ran over my neighbor. She showed up in the middle of the street. And I say almost because he moved really quickly out of the way. Then I went to deliver the package and someone my neighbor was there. Almost immediately after the whole thing. And he was there the whole time. Maybe it was someone that looked like him. He had the same looks, clothes and mannerisms. Trust me, I know a perfect rep replica when you see one. And you saw the, the kid Lilum here. They could easily pass off as humans. They, there are even little idol singers nowadays. Those voices can pass off as human. They could be passing off as human under my very own nose, noses, replacing us little by little. At the point, at this point in time, I really doubt it. Lilum behavior is a bit different. You can easily tell someone's a Lilum because they seem. How do you put this? They don't care about risk and danger as much as we do. They treat risks a lot. With a lot more leniency. Still, be careful, keep an eye out for uncanny do doppelgangers. I'm leaving, thanks for everything. Oh, do I have to watch out for like fake people now? What's your take on Replibot thing? Do you believe in them? Do you? Not really, but I asked you first. When I was in high school, I had a, this irrational fear of aliens. I was paranoid that they would come. What would I do then? I remember, I lost lots of sheep because of it. That doesn't answer my question. Let me finish. After many months of fear, I reached a conclusion that might as well apply here. It's useless to be afraid, but I'm a simple, but I'm but a simple woman. I wouldn't be able to do that against him. So I'd rather live without being afraid. Because memories of not being afraid will be my solace when the Nevulae crabs and fate. Uh, I mean, when the replicas come. Julie's still afraid of aliens. What part of it's useless to be afraid did you, you catch? Right. Back, did, I miss, did anything happen? I discovered I have a sense of humor of an eight year old. Did anything new happen? <laughs> hey! They brought you a package. Ah, yes, my curated wiener. It's gift up from my folks. It was delayed in customs, but here it is. You guys want some of it? Ha ha ha. Ah, Jill. <laughs> That's a new one. Here's some pocket money, I'm out of excuses. <laughs> oh, did I make one mistake? Oh, I think that was Dorothy's thing. Actually, it brings good luck. Buy one to prevent her from getting too distracted. There we go. How much was that? Quite a bit. Sweet. <laughs> she has quite the sense of humor. Woman marries anime pillow. Nobody is actually surprised. Barcol, ooh, oh hello. The Barcol, well, oh, hello. Is there any good? I need to uh, place to unwind after work. Work. Normies are taking over, huh? Uh, everyone is uh, neat, just like me. Anyway, place is cool, but the bartender can be a, a bit of a tick. How so? Never been there, so I wouldn't know. Is she cute? I can take it if she's cute. She's cute, but I think she's a bit full of herself. The guy seems a bit more of a bro. I see you already had a conversation with her. Did she reject your advances? No, I just heard 
from the distance. So is that a no? Kind of, I mean, if you're going to going there just to chat. I just want a place to chill for a bit and meet new people. Can I smoke there? Is there any bar from BTC where you can't smoke? Nope, bummer. Well, I think I'm going there next week then. Sounds good to me. Cool, well, new customers. Save and I will do a a end of stream and start a stream thing. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode. That'll be happening right now. <laughs>